Visitors to Japan are normally awed by the sight of their high-speed trains, otherwise known as the Shinkansen. The Shinkansen story is now 52 years old. It all began on October 1st, 1964 when the first Japanese high-speed train brought Osaka to less than 4 hours from Tokyo, a distance of 515 kilometers by rail. The feat is amazing considering that it came barely 20 years after Japan's defeat in the Second World War. In conjunction with the second high-speed rail HSR symposium in Kuala Lumpur recently, the Japanese government brought an exhibition detailing the history and science behind its fascinating train. Japan is keen to expand its HSR market in Asia following the successful export of the Shinkansen to Taiwan more than a decade ago. The chief attraction of the Kuala Lumpur exhibition is the HSR simulator, which allows one to get a good feel of what it is like to drive an HSR. The second attraction would be high quality videos showing all the technical aspects of the HSR, which is perfect for those who want to know how to make the train exceed 300 km per hour while being solidly planted. The posters also give a good overview of the HSR layout in Japan and how one can see the entire country using its vast HSR network, which is nearly 3,000 kilometers in length. As a whole, the exhibition gives a good explanation of the beginnings of HSR and those who are serious about learning should visit during weekday mornings as it allows for a more quiet browsing experience. By experiencing the simulator, watching the video, reading the posters, one is bound to walk away with a much better appreciation on the work that goes behind creating and maintaining a high-speed train. This free exhibition is open 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. daily at Tokyo Street Level 6 Pavilion KL and will close at the end of August.